Hey friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Amy Darley and I am sharing lots of cleaning motivation for you in today's video. I'll be doing some everyday cleaning as well as some deep cleaning. So hopefully this gives you all the motivation that you need to tackle your to-do list today as well. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I share videos every single week and I share cleaning motivation, organization, grocery hauls, recipes, and all kinds of homemaking content on my channel. All right, so y'all go ahead and get your to-do list ready or grab your cup of coffee and watch while you get motivated and let's get some cleaning done. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna do a quick introduction for all of you who are new to my channel while I tidy up my bedroom and get my bed made. So I'm Amy, a stay-at-home mom to two kids. Kaysen, my son, is 12, and my daughter Gracie June actually has a birthday this week and will be 10 on July 22nd. I'm married to my amazing husband, Chance, and we've been married for 15 years, and he is in medical sales. We live in a small town right outside of Savannah, Georgia, and I was actually an elementary school teacher for nine and a half years. And then after we paid off almost $100,000 in debt, I was finally able to stay at home. We did the whole Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University for those of you that are curious on how we paid off our debt and it was totally worth it. When I first became a stay-at-home mom, I actually ran a little Etsy shop selling t-shirts, which is another way that I was able to help contribute to paying off our debt and being able to stay at home and we had just moved into our newly built house and this was six years ago. Not long after we moved into our house, I started this YouTube channel as a hobby and a way to share DIYs, home decorating, and mom life tips and tricks. Then shortly after starting my YouTube channel, I really got into the cleaning motivation videos and I found a passion for sharing those everyday mundane tasks that we do as busy moms. And so over the last six years, I have been able to connect with so many women all around the world, and I am just blown away by this amazing community that we've built here. So if you're looking for a place to connect with other women or find great tips and tricks for cleaning and all things homemaking, then you're in the right place. We use the comment section of these videos to be able to connect with each other and share all of our ideas. So just be sure to go ahead and subscribe and then also introduce yourself down in the comment section so that way we can get to know you if you're new. All right, so I got the pre-cleaning cleaning done. So this is just something that I do. It's like my normal morning routine before I can get started on all the other things is I tidy up my bedroom, make my bed, get a load of laundry started, and now I'm moving on to the next part of the routine, which is tidying up around the rest of the house. So I'll start in the kitchen. I am gonna clean the kitchen today. I need to do some deep cleaning in here. Um, and then I will tidy up the rest of the house. Now, if you're ever curious about my favorite cleaning products or tools that I use, I do have them all linked on my Like to Know It, which is linked in the description box. Um, so if you go there, there's a whole cleaning section that will show you all of my favorite products and tools. Also, if you love shopping on Amazon, I have a whole Amazon storefront too. And so anything that I can purchase from Amazon that's a cleaning tool or product that I love, I have those linked there too. But I also have all kinds of other things linked on both Like to Know It and Amazon from clothes to kid products to everyday home items, all the things Pretty much everything that I love and buy and want to share with you guys will be linked on those two places.
Okay, so we are gonna clean the stove top really quick. And first I'm just vacuuming the top of it off, getting all the crumbs and things off of there. And then I'm gonna be using the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner to clean this today. I do love this product. However, on my stove top, if I have a lot of stuff caked on, I really love the Method Degreaser, but I was out of the Method Degreaser, so I'm using this today. It does do a good job, but I do think the Method Degreaser um, just kind of breaks up the gunk and everything on your stove top a lot easier. And I just use a wet sponge and scrub, 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 and then I will wipe it all up with a microfiber cloth. And now that all of that is wiped up, I'm just gonna spray it down with this spray away glass cleaner. And this is the foaming one. Um, I like the one in the can better, but this one works great too. Okay, so as I continue cleaning here in the kitchen, I was gonna tell you guys thank you for all your help and all of your suggestions for a birthday party theme for my daughter. Um, you guys had such cute ideas, and if you if you need a good birthday party theme idea, y'all go check out the comments in my last video. There are so many cute ones, and one of my favorites was the Barbie themed one, but we did end up going, I talked to Gracie June about it, and we ended up going with Peace Out Double Digits because she's turning 10. So I got her a really cute shirt off of Etsy. It shipped so fast too. And then I got some other stuff that I ordered on Timu. And so we'll be doing that. We're not gonna go crazy. Um, I did buy like a little kit that comes with a balloon arch and all that stuff to put together. Um, I'm trying to decide if I wanna use it at our house or at the pool because we're going to start with the pool party and then a few of the girls are going to come back and spend the night. Um, so yeah, thank you for all of your suggestions. I saw that one several times and I thought it was really, really cute and Gracie June's all into that groovy theme kind of stuff right now. But her birthday party is going to be this week and I will try to film some of it and show you guys how it all turns out. I'll probably share in Instagram stories and Facebook stories as well, um, but it will for sure be in a video in the next couple of weeks. I don't know if it'll be in next week's video or the one after that, but I'll definitely show you guys how the party and the decorations and everything turn out because I think it's going to be so cute. <music> All right, you guys, so I'm curious, when do your kids start back school? Um, mine only have a few weeks of summer left. They actually start back on August 11th, So, and mine actually go to private school, so we did go, and I had to go get a few new pairs of shorts for Kaysen um, for his uniform shorts, and then Gracie June got a couple new shirts, but 
Other than that, we didn't have to get a whole lot of stuff this year. We still need to go school supply shopping, and I really want to do that this week because I feel like I always wait too late and everything gets picked over. So I kind of want to go ahead and go this week and get all of that stuff taken care of so we can just enjoy the last few weeks of summer and really do a lot of stuff outside or go to a couple of places and have a lot of fun before they have to go back to school. But every year I do a back to school video and I can't believe it's already almost time for me to do another back to school video. I feel like we were just doing one not too long ago. (laughs) This year has flown by so fast. So um, I will be doing the back to school video. Y'all will have to let me know if you enjoy seeing those. Um, But basically I'll share all of the back to school supplies and the labeling. And um, like I said, my kids do uniforms so I don't really have to get them any new clothes or anything for that Um, but I will share all the things that we do to prep for back to school and our back to school routine and all that kind of stuff so I'm really excited about that I am not excited about my kids going back to school yet because I feel like this summer has flown by but I think you know they thrive on being in a routine we do have some sort of routine during the summer but it's definitely not nearly as you know, structured as the school year, but we're, they're going to be excited. Um, they have some new friends that are going to their school this year, uh, or old friends that are going to be going to their school for the first time this year. So that'll be fun. But anyways, we've got lots of stuff to do before they go back. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. Okay. I'm going to clean out our refrigerator <laughs> and it is just packed full you guys. So we've got a lot of leftovers in here from 4th of July and also just that week, not necessarily the 4th of July, but that week. And so I'm going to go through and pull everything out. It was kind of gross. Um, I was surprised there wasn't like a bunch of food caked on all over on the inside of our refrigerator, but it really didn't look too bad, but the food in the containers was definitely gross and needed to be thrown out. So I'm going to clean this out really quick and then I'm going to show you guys a grocery haul and just a little bit from Walmart. World on fire. You said my word on fire. I don't know what I do without you. You make me smile. What is it that you do? Okay, now that the fridge is all cleaned out, I actually went through off camera and threw away all of those leftovers that had been sitting in our fridge for a while and anything else that needed to be thrown away that was expired or whatever. And now I'm just putting all of the stuff back into our refrigerator and organizing it. And even though I went grocery shopping, I feel like my fridge looks so empty. Um, But we do have a lot of stuff in our outdoor freezer and a few meals out there as well. So we got a stand-up freezer last summer, or was it last summer? I don't know. Not too, too long ago. And it was the best decision ever. I love the stand-up freezer. We used to have a box freezer, and we just could never see everything at one time. And we were always having to pull other stuff out to get to the things on the bottom. 
So with the stand-up freezer, I feel like we have done such a good job about getting meals or making meals and freezing them. And it just makes it so much easier throughout the week whenever we want to, like if I decide I don't feel like cooking something that we had on the meal, meal plan for that night, then I can just go pull something out of the freezer that we already have made and we're not just constantly eating out just because I don't feel like cooking, if that makes sense. So anyways, I highly recommend a stand-up freezer if you can have one. I just want to love you, I just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. All right, the fridge is all nice and clean and organized. So now I'm going to wash these dirty dishes. And you guys, I had this pasta. It was a street corn pasta that I made. I completely forgot that I filmed it. Um, but I will share it as a YouTube shorts video because I did share it for like, or I filmed it for Instagram reels. But I will definitely share it here on YouTube too as a shorts video in case you want that recipe. It was so good. I never made it before, but it was delicious. So we took that for 4th of July and we ate on that for a few days. It was so good. But I am just washing these dirty dishes really quick. And then the kitchen, all the stuff from the refrigerator will be all cleaned up. We are who we are. Okay, so speaking of freezer meals earlier, I am curious, what are some of your favorite freezer meals, if you have any? Um, I would love for you to share them down in the comments and also links if you can. Um, some of our family favorite meals are chicken broccoli rice casserole, spaghetti, enchiladas, um, I feel like those are the things that we tend, um, poppy seed chicken. So those are some of the things that we tend to make a lot for freezer meals, but I would love any new meals to try if you guys have any suggestions. to express yourself in your own way and we could have some fun no problems coming in what are you doing what are you doing playing with that are you playing with that <laughs> why don't you go ahead and sweep the floor for me Ozzy you gonna sweep the floor you gonna sweep the floor <laughs> so that was our cat Ozzy we actually have three cats and funny story I am NOT a cat person at all but two Octobers ago my daughter who is obsessed with cats um, begged and begged and begged us to get these kittens, which were from my in-laws cat. And so, um, we finally agreed we would get one cat and then we were like, they were like, well, the cat needs someone to play with when we're at school. 
And I'm like, okay, so we got this, we were going to get two cats, but then there were only three. So when we went to take the two cats, I felt so bad because we were going to leave one cat by itself and it wasn't going to have like another baby to play with. So we ended up with all three cats and we ended up naming them all after the Braves players. So we have Ozzy, Riley, and Freddie. Freddie Freeman is not with the Braves anymore, but he was with them at that time. (laughs) Um, But we named them all before we ever took them to the vet and before we knew that they were all girls. So they were all girls. We tried to change their names after that, but we just couldn't call them anything else. So they got stuck with these names, Ozzy, Riley, and Freddie. (laughs) Now I'm still more of a dog person, but I will say the cats have grown on me. They are indoor, outdoor, and so... Every single morning we go open the door, they come running in and they get all the loving and then they take naps inside, but then they go back outside, like all their food is in the garage and they go outside to use the bathroom, all of that kind of stuff. But I just think it's so funny because I always told my kids that we would never have cats, that they could get cats whenever they moved out when they were older and that would be when they could have their cats, but they wouldn't have them under my roof, but... Now look at where we're at and we have three cats. Okay, so as you can see, we had a lot of laundry to catch up on. I'm actually folding two loads of laundry here and then I'm gonna fold another load of laundry a little bit later in the video, but I am always behind on laundry and I feel like I can never catch up. Keep on doing what you do, doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do. All right, we just got back from Walmart. Let me give you guys a really quick grocery haul. We've got some chips. Um, We have kids over all the time, so we like to have lots of these on hand. We've got some Tostitos for, we're gonna do some chicken nachos one night. So we've got Tostitos, we've got chicken that's already cooked. This is the best chicken from Walmart. And then I also got some jalapenos and some queso to go on top um more popcorn more chips these pringles taco shells for tacos one night this week um and the chicken the chicken nachos are going to be a lunch later this week but the tacos are going to be for dinner then we've got some spaghetti noodles for spaghetti we got a few different lunchables these are basically snacks for the kids because They don't usually eat these for lunch, but they'll eat them as snacks. Some more milk, grape jelly, because we were out, Pop-Tarts. We've got some chicken nuggets, pizza bagel bites. Um, Kazen tried ramen noodles the other day, the chicken flavor, and loved them, so (laughs) I got those. Um, We've also got these little fig bars, which are great for breakfast. Always gotta have the Cosmic Brownies on hand couple things of bread for turkey sandwiches which we already have like all of our turkey meats and things like that in the fridge cheez its and then we've got a couple things of ground beef for tacos and spaghetti all right so those are all the groceries that we needed for this week we do have like some fruit and things like that in the fridge but this is all we needed from walmart Okay, so now we're moving into the living room. I'm gonna tidy up in here really quick. The kids were actually upstairs working on their rooms and cleaning the playroom while I was downstairs doing all of this. Um, And then after I tidy up in here, I actually have a bunch of boxes at the front door. So I'm gonna pull out the stuff from the boxes and take the boxes out to the garage. So that way Chance can break those boxes down for me and we can put them in the recycling since that will come the next day and we'll get the rest of the house tidy up. 
Okay, so because of the cats, I do have to vacuum my couches a whole lot more. Um, and it's funny because when I first got these couches, the cats wanted nothing to do with them. Like they used to sleep on our old couches all the time. But when we first got these couches, they were like, I don't know if they just didn't think they were comfortable or what, but they never got on the couches until recently. So now they're on these couches and these are white. Our old couches were like a like a uh, tan color, so the hair didn't show up as bad. But now that we have white couches, everything shows up on these. So I'm constantly vacuuming my couches and pillows and all the things. <laughs> so I'm going to do that really quick. And then I'll be done here in the living room. We shouldn't care about anyone. Hope brings us down. Doing what you do, doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do, doing what you do. Doing what you do, doing what you do. Doing what you do, doing what you do. Do what you like. All right, it is actually a little bit later in the day. I took a break from cleaning to take the kids to the pool. We got back and now I'm gonna finish up some cleaning. So first I'm getting this load of laundry folded and then we will get to those packages at the front door. In the back seat, wide awake is the way that you left me, oh. Now it's clear we are here back at your house and I keep fading into the background. I'm wide awake, now you keep missing Let's take care of some of these packages. I have a few things from Amazon, Walmart. I also have Saint, which is my makeup that I use and talk about all the time. Um, and yeah, I have a bunch of stuff to just kind of go through. But I'm curious, do you guys prefer shopping online or in stores? I am definitely more of an online shopper now, and I think it's because every time I go in store, I can never really find what I want, um, unless it's like Walmart. I can find what I want at Walmart, but like if I go to the outlets and I shop at the stores that I used to shop at before 2020, I can never find anything, especially if I'm shopping for the kids. Now, I do kind of prefer taking the kids with me and going shopping in store, but like I said, I can never find anything now. There's never anything really in their sizes. And so it's just easier for me to shop online because I know what size they are and I just hope that the, the stuff will fit because that's another thing is I guess sometimes you get things in and kid sizes can be very different. But I do prefer shopping online and I guess in a way it does kind of help me save money though because I can see exactly how much money I'm spending in my cart before I check out and it does make me kind of think about my purchase a little bit longer and sometimes I'll even like put something in my cart especially on Amazon I'll put something in my cart and wait a few days and then a lot of times I'll be like oh, I don't need that anymore <laughs> and I'll just delete it out of my cart um, or I'll be like okay I really need this now so I'll go ahead and check out but Definitely more of an online shopper, but I'm curious what you guys like to do. Okay, and now as you can see, I'm doing a quick vacuum, and obviously I really needed to vacuum with all those crumbs on the floor earlier. You saw when my cat Ozzy was laying on the floor, like there were crumbs everywhere, but if you're just seeing it from like this angle, it's so hard to tell. But when I get close up, you can definitely see there are crumbs everywhere, and my floor really needed to be vacuumed. So I'm gonna do that really quick, 
and then um, that'll be all for the first day of cleaning. But the next day of cleaning, I'm going to be cleaning in the laundry room. I would planned on cleaning that in this day too, but I just ran out of time. I didn't have time to do it all. So we're going to get the laundry room cleaned up. It's a huge mess and it's going to feel so good to have it done. So we've got the downstairs tidied up. I'm gonna go to bed and then get back up and start cleaning the next morning. Now I am curious, do you guys prefer cleaning at night? I know a lot of people love cleaning at night, like after their kids go to bed, or do you prefer cleaning during the day? I always find that I have more energy in the morning and I never feel like cleaning in the evenings, but I guess I am home, you know, a stay at home mom, so I am able to clean during the day and get that done in the morning. Um, but I'm just curious, do you guys prefer cleaning at night or during the day? Okay, so I got this little dryer lint attachment thing off of Amazon. And so I'm using it for the first time here to clean out all of the lint in our dryer. And it worked really, really good. So first it comes with this long um, piece that you just stick down in there. And it pulls out a bunch of the lint. But when I took the other attachment and hooked it up to my vacuum, I was so shocked at how much lint was stuck like on the bottom that I could not get to. It was kind of crazy. So I definitely recommend this little tool for cleaning out your lint in your dryer. Look at all that lint that was in there. This thing was empty before I vacuumed all of that lint out and it is slap full. So I was shocked at how much was in there that I didn't realize. Okay, so now I need to clean up this little area here in the laundry room. So I'm gonna put this attachment up in the cabinets and then I have some stuff from 4th of July that just needs to be put away. And then all of these clothes that are sitting in the sink are actually clean. They came out of the dryer. We just threw them in the sink really quick so that we could put the clothes that were in the washing machine into the dryer. But I'm gonna fold those up really quick and put them away. Okay, yay, just putting those things away actually made the laundry room look so much better. Um, these are the gain pods that I use and I get them from Sam's Club and so I'm just refilling our little pod holder right here, a little jar of pods and then I can throw this box away. 
Um, and then I'm going to wipe down the counter and also wipe down the washing machine and the dryer, do some vacuuming, and then this laundry room will be so much better. And I'll have one more thing checked off of my to-do list, which is going to feel great. You're so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Wondering if you're thinking about me too. Now it's too late. And just when that laundry basket was getting low, I had to go pick up all of the towels and bathing suits and everything and bring in some more laundry that needs to be done. <laughs> but take a look at our laundry room. It looks so much better than before. Um, it feels good to have this done. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And hopefully now you're motivated to go tackle some things on your to-do list. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you in next week's video. Bye. I wish you be right here with me.